Transmission received. Mysterion brings justice. You can't kill that which never dies. Okay, welcome back to another South Park Furnace Story video, and today we're going to be going over the dev notes. So I did say in my Team Wars video, which will be going up later today, that um, if it's decent enough to cover, I will do it. And I think we just have that today. And before I start, there is no hidden Kenny in this video because normally when I do this, um, I do it before the, the one comes out, so it doesn't work. So yeah, um, the Team Wars video will have one. So let's start with... Um, Let's go to the top. So let's start with the weekly timetable, which is on screen now. And it's, I mean, if you're a sci-fi lover, it's all right. It's not the best because we got the um, sci-fi challenges, which I <laughs> not many people that use uh, use sci-fi. So hopefully we can just get some uh, coins and stuff for this weekend to hopefully help towards the team wars. And they also say that they're doing a season 22 recap week, which will be like Marcus, um, Actually, with Marcus season 1, 21, right? I don't think I was playing during season 22. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get a bunch of events based on the episodes, I think. And uh, hopefully we get some new cards added. I don't think so, but always hopeful. So, yeah, the superhero week, I'm not going to go over too much, but it's on screen right now. You can see that it's 100 points to win uh, solo, blah, blah. And then it's just all these cards boosted. I think the only one I would end up using will be Bradley. And... Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll just be running a one-point deck for like the whole weekend. Hopefully get some wins. Maybe I might switch over to Awesome because my Awesome is level four. And so will be my... So will my thing will be... Um, what's that guy's name? Uh, Barney Hunter Cow. So maybe I might run it. So yeah. Um, Tuesday is... To tomorrow is the Legendary Reset. So I did get 7.5k multiple times during this week. So we're going to get a juicy pack tomorrow. My highest I've ever gotten in the game. And uh, yeah, I did it with my fantasy deck and I did it with my superhero deck. So superheroes are super good. And it helped that no one was, or people that were using superheroes were using them level 3. So that's um, definitely a plus. And with that, we get the new balance changes, which we have already covered last week. Which will be sexy, uh, 6 element Randy and then Witch Garrison. Who I have been working towards level 6 for a while now. Um, he is level 5, or can be level 5. So I need... <laughs> Around 500 more this guy. I'm happy because hopefully they use him in an event soon so I can use him because my Ike is level 6 too. So he will get boosted. I was going to do a video on him when he was boosted a while ago. But I didn't just didn't have time to upload it. And this is the main reason why we're actually making this video today. Is because we are not ready to talk about these balance changes. But they are coming beyond this week. But I can tell you that... We've hearing your thoughts and some of the cards that are currently on our watch list. So, the video said at the bottom, this doesn't mean we're going to make any changes towards these cards specifically. It's just, um, you know, this is what they keep hearing the most, which I think maybe the top one that they're pretty much talking about because doggies, I don't know how they can change doggies. The annoying, yes, um, I can count on them kind of decently, but um, I think I've <laughs> I played a game where he, a guy had three doggies. I kid you not, I think he had, no, he can't have three doggies, he had two of them, but he cycled through them so quick, and he used a poke to me as well, so that was cancer. Um, I think the only problem with doggies, or at least to me, is that stupid uh, sci-fi one where it frees everyone around, but I mean, they can't really nerf him because then he's he's not good anymore. Um, if you know if they buff him too much, they're going to be broken, if they nerf him, they'll be unusable, so it's kind of hard to say for doggies, so I'm just going to leave that to... Other people to discuss. Pope see me. Like we had it before at 7 cost. Or like we see in uh, Colgo. If they do make him 7 cost. He might be a bit uh, unusable. What I think they might do is just lower his stats. Because he is pretty good for a card. For a 4 cost card. If you res someone that costs 3. Um, or 2 actually. Um, so yeah. Hopefully. You know I've been using him sometimes. He's, always, he's, he's in and out of my deck. I'm not really fast to do nerf him. It, it will be enough because there's no way this guy's getting buffed. So hopefully, they probably just know it, lower his uh, actual stats because they you don't really want to increase some cards because it's just stupid. Uh, in Kane Craig, 100% this guy's getting nerfed. This guy's broken. If you have using him or if you've been like, pretty much any point after 7.7k, especially around 7.5, everyone's just using it in Kane Craig. He's you know you, you're winning a fight. 
Boom, this guy spawns down. Everyone's dead. He's insanely broken, or at least I think he is. He, he does so much damage. The beam is super thick, so it, it hits multiple targets when they shouldn't. And he costs 5 costs, so it literally... The guy's tanky as well, so literally even if some units do survive, he'll end up just taking people out. And with a big push, this guy will definitely get in a nerf. I think the main problem with me, at least, is that he can hit people behind the new kid, or like on the side. It, sh it shouldn't be like that. Um, more times my... Like, Bebe or my uh, Amazing Randy has died towards in-game Craig when he shouldn't. So hopefully that does get fixed or changed to where it shouldn't do that. Or maybe lower the beam size a bit because it literally it's, it's a huge beam which you can't even stop. Um, so yeah, that's uh, in-game Craig. So hopefully he does get some nerfs. And then several superhero cards are on the watch list. So what does that mean? So yeah, we just got the weekend where we pretty much can see what superhero cards are at level 4 and if you've seen my last two videos I pretty much showed that and honestly they are really good for the, the several superhero cards I'm not really sure because I guess they don't want to be specific because superhero cards are actually really good so let's just go in order from epics uh, fast pass really good does not need changing um, tool shed good but I think chomper might need to change uh, human kite OP, literally don't touch him. If anything, he'll get nerfed, but I don't think they'll do that because they don't really nerf cards that are like okay or decent. So yeah, uh top of where they pretty much just changed. Uh so I don't think he'll get any changes. Same for Professor Chaos, he literally just got buffed technically or fixed. So now this guy does no damage towards the enemy new kid and your teammates, also your your uh new kid. So yeah, this guy won't get changed. Um the Kuhn. I think the king will get changed. This guy's ability is so, so bad, for being honest. Um, definitely the worst tank he. If you look at the last or three or all of the the comments, they have the ability to actually stall, which is uh, basically using the main ability to slow down the push. And this guy is quite fast already, so if anything, he should have a. Um, I mean, I don't think they're going to change him that much to where he'll have a charge, because. I don't think they're going to they rework cards of that, but I think what they, they should do at least is make the teamwork ability stay forever. So whenever someone dies, he doesn't lose the 50 attack if he's max level 4. Because, you know, if someone like or Fireball, for example, can kill your whole backline, and then now the Kuhn has got zero attack and is doing nothing, pretty much tickling the units, um, it would be pretty good if you could cycle three super cards and then get a bunch of... Uh, stacks going so I think max before he could probably have around a 300 attack who's max level 4 but imagine if you have a bunch of assassins they die I mean we only have one assassin right now but they die and then Cartman doesn't lose his attack which would be at least my solution of what they should do because I mean what's the point uh, he, <laughs> like your, your your team dies and then he's the only one alive like he's not even if he did have like a 400 attack boost he's not going to be broken so I, I don't know why they should um or maybe, I don't know. I haven't fully seen it, what he can do. So maybe um, they won't do it. But I think it should stay. Or at least lower the attack and then make it stay. Because, you know, you're constantly spawning. Especially with Human Kite. Uh, cards will be dying. And you'll be spawning more cards in. So it'll be good if the Coon can actually take out some units. Because even at 200 attack, he's not the best. So hopefully that can be the change. Because I think they're going to stay with the teamwork. Not going to change anything else. Um... So yeah, Chomper, go to traps. Uh, Chomper is a bit buggy. I don't know. Like sometimes they literally skim through it, like just touch it and they don't like get hit. So maybe that can be fixed. Uh, Super far is I think okay. They don't need to touch that. Lava just got added and I've been using it for quite a bit. And honestly, it's pr I think it's pretty good. Maybe increase the width a bit so it's a bit thicker. Cause some like I think uh, once or twice the dog poos just like walk past without getting affected so hopefully that can just make it a bit wider so it covers more of the field other than that i think it's pretty good the slowness effect is actually really good it takes a while for them to get to your put your deck and if you have a super fight you can push it back back into it so yeah uh love is actually pretty good and i did manage to get to level four i think everyone got to level four if you finished the weekend event and lastly we have the two the two cards which are definitely going to get changed i think because everyone's saying it it's going to be Mysterion and Colgo. So let's start with the obvious one, Colgo. Um, 
seven costs, which I think is the most expensive in the game. I uh, know it's not. It's next to uh, Mambo Pig. Yeah, this uh, this girl is definitely getting changed. Um, lower her to six. Increase her stats because I, I haven't seen her level three. Um, no one's using her, obviously. Her stats I've heard are pretty like mediocre, so definitely make her a definitely a good uh, card. And if you look at Pope to me, Pope to me, you can pretty much like you know you're gonna rest someone. Her is random. And if you're using the Kuhn, for example, the Kuhn's got to have multiple superhero themes, you know, in your deck. So you're never going to really have the chance to call in Colgo and then the Kuhn. Um, I've been saying for a while now, we probably have to wait until they, they release more superhero cards because, um, you know, they could release a really uh, energy costly card, which Colgo will be perfect to use for. But, um, I mean, that's not really happening in the future, so we don't know. But yeah, this, this girl definitely needs a, a stat increase, probably a lower down to six. I, I honestly I don't know why she costs seven. Um, it's it's a random chance of spawning any superhero card in your like your actual hand, and then poke Timmy can pretty much guarantee res anyone that you want. So yeah, this this girl's definitely gonna go lower to six. I can even see him lowering it to five. Why not? Um, she's a legendary card. Most legendary cards in the game are legendary, like like worthy of it. So maybe t she'll get down to five costs. So yeah, uh, that's a cool girl, so hopefully she gets buffed, because I am, what, two away to get into level, uh, to level three, so I'd like to use her. And the Mysterion is three away from your level three, who I've seen Druzy use at level four, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure if they can touch Mysterion, I honestly have no opinion on him. Maybe, maybe make him four cost? I don't know, or if they increase the, the bubble a bit too fast, then it will be uh, a bit a bit too OP. So honestly, you have to let me know on what you think of Mysterion. Okay, and then lastly, we have the, um, the little notice for next week, which will be a recap week, which is a, we'll have a, uh, a whole week of events that happen during Season 22, because this will be closer to Season 23, uh, which is the 25th of September, so literally this month. And we're going to get a bunch of stuff to, to enjoy for the next couple of weeks. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace.